self-management versus professional management. Guys, don't get me wrong. Like having the, the wrong property management company manage your properties can definitely cost you money and it can basically suck all the cash flow out of your building. But self-managing is such a pain. So unless you're owning a property management company, you really don't want to be dealing with the day-to-day -day complaints about, you know, leaky faucets or tenants who are trying to break their lease or different issues with the property, people calling you at night. And it's not necessarily like you're going to get calls all hours of the night, but you are going to be dealing with petty stuff. Like I have clients who have decided to go the self-management route and they're kicking themselves. I mean, basically they're dealing with problems like little hiccups, just little things all the time that just suck their energy and their time. And that's valuable time that you could use to make more money, buy more properties, or to be looking for properties, to be working at your day job, to try to make more money. It's just stress that you don't need. So my recommendation is always to go with professional management and to interview different property management companies, make sure they're a good fit. Um, one, some of the big things that I look for in a property manager and considering I, I owned a property management company previously, um, I do like companies that have in-house maintenance staff. So here in San Diego, we're pretty spread out. I would say that having in-house maintenance is huge because for those drippy faucets or getting screens replaced or changing mailbox locks or sweeping up the property, those kinds of things are little nickel and dime sorts of things. Um, that a handyman who's a vendor would charge you a lot of money to do like I mean they probably have a minimum trip charge and some of that stuff might take you 30 minutes to do so somebody's not going to just charge you you know 25 bucks unless they have in-house maintenance and that maintenance can be efficient and have a whole list of tiny little things that they can get done around the property that's going to get that cost down for you so that's important for me um, of course you want to make sure that they have the proper insurance so you want to make sure that they have workers comp errors and omissions general liability in the event that anything happens um, on the property you definitely want to make sure that you're covered by your property manager somebody who has regular reporting I think it's really important for you to take a look at sample financial reports because one of the things that I've seen is owners who are so frustrated because they don't understand their financials so a little bit of it might be lack of education or knowledge maybe that's just not your thing but the other part of it is that you should have pretty simple straightforward financial reports that you could look at and you're going to be frustrated if you can't understand your cash flow on a monthly basis, especially if it's not where you think it ought to be. And then you can't understand your financials. That's something that's really important. So um, also a property management company who takes care of all of your vacancies, who has a process for handle, how they handle lease renewals. All of those things are really important um, and they're going to affect your bottom line. So that's the kind of thing that you want to discuss with a professional manager. But I definitely don't recommend anybody goes the route of self-management. The other thing you need to think about if you're thinking you're gonna manage your property or you're already managing your property is um, there are a lot of fair housing laws, landlord tenant laws that you need to be up to speed on. They're changing all the time. Your property manager is gonna be up to speed on all of that. They probably and hopefully have their own lease agreement because the standard lease agreement you might get from the Apartment Owners Association might be okay, but there's just a lot of things that are missing from that. So a professional management company should have their own contract that's been drafted and reviewed by an attorney, has all kinds of addendums and clauses and things that are gonna protect you as an owner and give you flexibility and options. Um, so that's another reason you wanna have a property manager. And the other thing is when you do finally decide to switch over to management, the number one thing I ever had from owners who were going from self-management is the tenants call you for every little thing. So you finally hire a professional management company. And then of course your tenants are not happy because they're now you're operating your property like a business, which is the way it should have been from day one, instead of a personal, hobby and they're upset so you're going to get all those upset phone calls it's basically going to cause drama for you drama with your management company and you're going to be stuck in the middle like not knowing who to believe and just being inconvenienced all around so definitely do yourself a favor and hire a professional property manager